How's it going guys, Zach Cox here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showcasing to you guys a brand new easter egg in GTA 5 regarding Tony Prince, or Gay Tony, and Luis Lopez from GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony inside of GTA 5. So, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below. Let's go for a like goal of 500 likes, as this has never been covered on the interwebs before and it's seemingly interesting which I'll get to all that in just a moment but also be sure to subscribe of course for some more daily GTA 5 content and also if you're feeling generous enough check out my Instagram and Twitter links down below but without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the video so a subscriber actually brought this to my attention and I'm sure it's been in the game since the get-go however even though I've checked this place out and scouted it out many different times I it's just never caught my eye and it could be just due to the fact that on the console versions of the game, the quality is not near as clear as it is on the PC, which I'm playing on. I'm not here to start a console war or anything, but you guys can check it out for yourselves if you are on the console and let me know if this does appear and is legible uh, enough to see what it says. But let me know down in the comments. Also, uh, to actually check this out, what you need to do, of course, is just go to Michael DeSanta's house and then go upstairs to his son Jimmy's room. And this is just going to appear under the TV in this bedroom. So once it's there, just go into first person mode or pull out a sniper rifle and zoom in on this. And you're going to see the header saying residue. And there's going to be a picture of a man on here. And that man is actually Luis Fernando Lopez, the protagonist of Episodes from Liberty City or The Ballad of Gay Tony. And cool little fact, he does not appear and he's not mentioned anywhere in GTA 5. However, there is an Easter egg referencing him, not only with this magazine, but it's a random taxi mission that is very rare to get and very hard to get. But when doing this, you're going to come across some bikers, and there's going to be a license plate on the back of a car that says Luis Lopez. So that's very cool, and he is the only protagonist out of the GTA 4 trio to not appear or be mentioned in GTA 5. So that's very interesting, as well as Tony Prince, or Gay Tony, and which, if you zoom on down this magazine here, you're going to see Tony Prince, the Ace of Clubs Talks. And that's going to be written out on this magazine article. And that's also interesting as Tony Prince, or Gay Tony, and Luis Lopez are not mentioned anywhere in the game at all. And this is the only mention of Tony Prince, or Gay Tony, inside of Grand Theft Auto V. So... That's very interesting as why these two characters are not mentioned or referenced anywhere in GTA 5 at all aside from this magazine article and the Luis Lopez license plate. Johnny Clevitz from GTA 4 is uh, uh, physically seen in the game. Nico Bellic is only mentioned and I've made a video on why Nico doesn't actually appear in the game. If you guys want to check that out, it's annotated on the screen. But it's just very weird why these characters are not mentioned and they just disappeared you know, off the face of the earth. We hear nothing about them. And maybe in the future, with some DLC content added into GTA 5, we'll see Luis Lopez again or Tony Prince. If we get a nightclub DLC, that'd be very cool. But I want to say, at the end of GTA 4 Episodes from Liberty City, Tony Prince mentions in the dialogue something about moving out west to get away from this uh, mobster life, this mafia life. And I believe he mentioned something about, one, going out west, but also Las Venturas or, say, San Fierro, one of those two cities. And... Los Santos is out in the west. That's the only way I could think of it. And maybe he decided to uh, relocate to San Fierro or Los Santos, but we don't hear anything about it in the storyline. My best guess is he is on the west coast somewhere, but we don't exactly know where. And maybe in the future, we're going to see these two characters return once again, this little deadly duo there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. That, that about wraps things up. If you guys did enjoy Definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below because GTA 4 Episodes from Liberty City was one of my favorite GTA games. And to see these two characters mentioned and referenced in GTA 5 uh, just makes me very happy and excited. Just kind of brightens up the future a little bit. Maybe we're going to see them appear in the game. You guys let me know down in the comments though if you were able to bring back any previous GTA 5, or excuse me, GTA character and protagonist and uh, implement them into GTA 5. What character would you like that to be? I'd be very eager to read through all those comments down below. But if you guys did enjoy the video, of course, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. That way you never miss out on an upload. And with all that said and out of the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy. Have a safe one. And I will see you all in the next video.